Uh, honorable uh, Chair, <coughs> fellow speakers, uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. <coughs> Let me begin by uh, thanking the organizers of this conference for kindly inviting ICRB and me personally to be here to share our experiences with you this morning. <coughs> uh, we are from ICRB, which is uh, International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research, Bangladesh, an international health and population research center established in Bangladesh through an ordinance of the Bangladesh government in 1978. Uh, by incorporating cholera research laboratory, which has been in existence since 1960. So it's a pretty 50 years old organization, which started with its mission to work on cholera, cholera and then subsequently broadened its scope when it became international to do research on digital diseases and related field of uh, health, population, and nutrition in, in Bangladesh. Uh, Today's talk uh, is based on one of our recent experiences in reducing neonatal mortality <coughs> in, in Bangladesh. Uh, it's done in an area called Motlop, which is one of the oldest field sites in the developing world. We had been uh, having health and demographic surveillance system in that area since 1960. And this is one of the models which has now been replicated through in-depth network in many African countries in the world. Uh, ICDRV and Matlob is also known for uh, its major contribution in the development of oral dehydration solution. And then among many other things, also to develop an innovating uh, family printing service delivery program in the late 70s and early 80s, uh, which eventually was adopted to the national program in Bangladesh. And many of us believe that that very incorporation and the experiences of Motlop in delivering uh, family printing services has become the cornerstone in reducing population growth and controlling fertility in this country. Today's presentation, as I said, it's on uh, neonatal mortality. Uh, Motlob is a rural site which is nearly 50 kilometers uh, southeast from Dhaka, as you can see in the map. Uh, the population uh, under surveillance uh, currently is around 230,000, where our health and demographic surveillance workers visit household every once in a two month and collect demographic and health information data. The area is divided into two parts. Uh, uh, one part having ICRB's uh, limited health services, we call them uh, ICRB service areas. The other half as having usual government health services. Matlab has a, a Upajila General Hospital, which is a government facility. There is an ICRB diarrhea treatment center, and uh, there are facilities for normal deliveries, which is maternal child health. There are four ICRB sub-centers which is quite close to what uh, Bangladesh government is now doing in uh, called community clinics. Those sub-centers are equipped with paramedics and basic uh, facilities, even for normal delivery now, and covers around 25,000 population. There are 12 union health and family welfare centers, which is a government facility in the area. Uh, Motlov has been out of uh, presence of development and use, even if uh, Bangladesh was quite known for intense NGO activities before 1992. Uh, it's after 1992 that BRAC and other NGOs started to move with their development programs. The demographic surveillance, uh, which is a regular uh, way of collecting data, has been in place since 1966. And every data there, every individual is computerized. Uh, every study can be linked with every individual living in those areas. We exactly know in a particular point of time how many people are living there how many died like even yesterday, how many was born yesterday, how many marriages was dissolved yesterday, how many got married like yesterday. This is quite a real time data uh, in this area. Uh, despite Bangladesh made tremendous progress in the reduction of uh, uh, childhood mortality and other mortalities, uh, basically health millimeters and the gains in Bangladesh has been enormous during the last 20, 30 years. Uh, child mortality has reduced drastically, but what has been difficult uh, and observed during late 90s is kind of a resistance to reduce neonatal mortality further. Uh, uh, 
it decreased sharply, but after that it was showing tendency of not decreasing as fast as it should be, or showing some stagnation, both nationally as well as in our study sites in Matlab. So that became a concern, even to reach MDG goals and other things. And ICRB was interested to find ways how neonatal mortality can be reduced further, so that we can have the goals achieved, both for us and for the nation. As you can see, the left-hand side graph shows the reduction of neonatal mortality, which was pretty high, and was ho hovering around 35 or 36 per thousand in 2007. Matlab, uh, both areas, government in our areas, was around 25, 27. Uh, uh, around uh, 2007, it was around that. The intervention, 1998 to 2006, the service component remained the same, but we stopped the home deliveries. Uh, the awareness among mothers has increased. Mothers, uh, women's mobility has increased, and therefore tendency to coming to the health facilities. But in 2007, which was specific for reducing neonatal mortality, had all the above service component I just mentioned, but it was augmented by community and facility-based services with home visits. Uh, nearly, uh, we had 41 community health workers entrusted uh, to, to be involved in the intervention uh, to reduce the uh, neonatal mortality thing. And when there is a case of referral for women for uh, emergency obstetric care and other things, uh, the program had provision for covering the cost of women of the services from the lowest quintile, which is one-fifth of the population. The, the program was done in a manner that at the community level, we identified the pregnancy as soon as possible with the pregnancy test. As soon as the pregnancy is identified, the rest of the period of pregnancy and postpartum is entirely programmed on a week-by-week -week basis, both in terms of clinical services as well as community-based services. That has been very intensive. I mean, uh, let's not go through the very detail of it. But what it has does, it provided a continuum of care which a pregnant woman needed right from the pregnancy to like after a month or two months after the delivery. And that was quite intense and see what has happened. There are a few descriptions of the various uh, clinical uh, care provided and then uh, the family and community care. Basically, it's not only clinical services. The support at the community level were also mobilized in a manner and the people are empowered in a manner that they exactly know what to do when there is an emergency sign So it was quite an intensive program. And as I said, it was programmed week by week basis. When a mother is detected to be pregnant and what should be done. Complemented with clinical services, buses, community support groups, and then with the facility of referral, I mean, to be taken to a facility and the cost for the poorest to the poor women uh, from the lowest quintile was covered by the program. Uh, let's see what happened because of the programs. The right-hand side shows the, the place of delivery in the government area, and the left-hand side shows the place of delivery uh, in the ICD area. Uh, by 2011, uh, the home delivery has reduced to low, less than 20% in the ICD reserve area. That means that nearly 80% of the deliveries are being held in the facilities. But in the, in the government reserve area, still 75% of the deliveries are still at home. So the intervention itself has enormously popularized facility-based delivery when the need arised. And it's not the red, red bar in the left-hand side shows the deliveries at ICD facilities, but the others in other facilities. So basically the program created a huge enabling uh, environment for women to deliver at the facilities, in, even in such a rural area, and it has raised up to 80%. In terms of neonatal mortality, what has happened? The bar, uh, uh, vertical bar, shows the uh, period from which the intervention was started. And the blue bar, blue chart, shows the neonatal mortality in the ICRB area, and the red bar shows in the government area. Uh, so you can see that uh, there was a sharp reduction after 2007. And then again, there is a sh showing a sign of plateauing of the neonatal mortality. It clearly shows uh, how resistant, how difficult it is to take neonatal mortality beyond the level. Uh, link with the formal system, as well as supported by community groups, has a potential of reducing neonatal mortality, but not, seems to be not less than 16 or 17 per thousand uh, in this kind of society. And then it got stagnated, basically meaning that uh, specialized uh, programs need to be developed and delivered if you want to uh, achieve further. 
Uh, I must mention that in the recent past, Bangladesh has other success stories in terms of uh, reducing child mortality and neonatal mortality and infant mortality. And among them, just two examples to mention, would be a Ganeshastu Kendra in Savar. They also demonstrated that both maternal mortality and child mortality and can be reduced with community-based interventions. Recent experiences with BRAC, both in urban and rural areas, are showing similar, similar promises. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for your attention.